suspected Al-Shabaab militants who are holding two Cuban doctors after their abduction in Mandarin are now demanding SH-150 million in ransom. The ransom demand was communicated through community elders who went to a remote area between the towns of Buell and El Aid in Jubaland region of Somalia. This is where General Practitioner Herrera Correa and Surgeon Landy Rodriguez are said to have been seen alive by the elders who were sent to negotiate their release. After days of negotiations, community elders from Mandra and Bulahawo in Somalia who traveled to the area confirmed that the two are alive and offering treatment to the community in a restricted environment. They seem to be under the care and offering medical care services to the locals, said a security official who cited the elders' message. But officials in Mandara dismissed the claims as premature and far-fetched saying this was not official for now. The doctors were abducted on their way to work from home in Mandara County on April 12, 2018. Officials say authorities in Kenya have sent back the elders seeking to further negotiate the ransom. Other reports say the two were abducted by bandits who handed them over to suspected the Al-Shabaab militants who subsequently sought the ransom from the group of elders allegedly through proxies. The bandits were used by over business rivalry in Mandra after it emerged the doctors had sharply led to the drop of cost of medical services in the area. A team of security officials from Cuba had come to Kenya and visited Mandara as part of the efforts to trace the whereabouts of the two abductees. The abducted doctors are among 100 Cuban specialists who arrived in the country in June 2018. Following the abduction, Cuban doctors posted in Wajir, Garissa and Dana River were recalled and reassigned other counties. An administration police officer who was among two escorting the doctors was killed during the incident that has raised fresh security concerns in the volatile region.